I want to bring this prophecy to you. The Lord taking us to India. And when I arrive in India, then at that place, when the senior leaders receive me in India, when they, when we just arrive and they receive us, and then all of a sudden at the moment when I arrive, heaven opens and rain begins to fall on us. And then one of the senior leaders wearing a white shirt, a little tall, then he says, mightiest prophets of the Lord, my lords, look, you have just arrived in India, and heaven has opened owing to your presence here, and look, it is raining on us. I've heard his words. You know, India has been such a big burden in my heart, that the Lord may reach them with the gospel of Jesus and demonstrate the massive power of the cross and the blood that they may turn away from idol worship and worship Jehovah. Well, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me in a very, very mighty way. In the dream, that is yesterday night, the Lord spoke with me very powerfully. I traveled to a country, and it's India that we have ahead of us here. The first conversation is when I arrived, and then my mere presence, heaven opened and rain fell. And then the people shouted, shouted, the rain of Jesus, the rain of Jesus, the rain of Mount Carmel has come. The reign of Jesus, there was a lot of celebration that took place. The reign of Jesus is here, the reign of Jesus. I was also saying that the reign of Jesus, the reign of Jesus is the dream. India is ahead of us here. The Lord is going to continue identifying his servants at this hour for the glorious coming of the Messiah. My presence there commands heaven open and God responds. And says, so the reign of Jesus, the reign of Jesus, the reign falls on people as they are speaking. They are seated in the meeting. It was awesome to see. This is a tremendous thing. To open heaven is not a joke. This is very tremendous. Even the message entailed, the message contained in there is very, very serious about the key. The key of David. The key that can open heaven or shut it for three and a half years for the dispensation after this. And I've seen that when I go to India, I command heaven to open and rain comes. I have announced that, I think, more than a, two years ago, a year ago, that when I go to India, I will again command heaven to open and rain will come down. And I've had the Indians and Britons say, the reign of Jesus, the reign of Jesus, the reign of Jesus. I have heard all these things. The Lord has been speaking about the mission to India for the past three days, including today. And in that mission, I see today the Lord has showed me that we were there, and then it was raining. It was raining. This must be a special rain. It was raining even as we were stepping out. It must be a special rain. This must be a special rain. We are walking while it's raining. Yes, it must be a special rain for the Lord to show me that now. It was raining over there. As we were walking out, it was raining, and I see myself walking in the rain in India. So this must be a special rain. The rain the Lord spoke about, the rain of the Holy Spirit that is coming to ignite revival in that nation that so needs the Lord, so much needs Jesus, that they too may be given the opportunity to prepare for the coming of the Messiah.
woman walks out, the rain increases. Yes. And he says, the rain is increasing. Where is he going? And in India, it is uh, not the rainy season. It is not. It's winter season. Hallelujah! Ooh. Hallelujah! It is raining! It is raining! Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Ay, Look at this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's raining on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
many souls are going to return to Jesus. The 